today we have a very 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 special announcement everybody please 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 be seated please be seated we are here today to speak the gospel the gospel of anime uh, we're here to talk about uh, some of the most uh, menacing menaces uh, in anime history uh. yo why you sound like td jakes shut your lame ass up damn bro you ain't have to diss me like that now i know y'all are probably looking at this video looking at the title the thumbnail and you're like sin what are you talking about the hall of fame of menaces in anime what is that oh i'm glad you asked today we're here to talk about some of the greatest menaces in anime we are starting a series in which we are going to induct menaces into the hall of fame bro who are the hall of fame menaces now i know y'all are probably going to want me to talk about a lot of different individuals and that's what the comment section is for so down below go ahead and type and tell me exactly who you want me to induct into the hall of fame who deserves to be amongst these five individuals that i'm going to talk about today because oh i have bought some heat for episode one some 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 fuego some flames that, 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 that spice this is what i would like to call the ghost pepper of heat my name. this is different right now without further ado let's talk about our first hall of fame inductee freezer will you please come to the stage <laughs> Hello, monkeys! Frieza deserves to be in the Hall of Fame of Menaces for multiple reasons. And obviously, there's a plethora of things that we could talk about and should talk about. But the main thing that I want to talk about is the fact that why did they change the direction of, of why Frieza decided to genocide an entire race of people? Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. The Saiyans should not have been genocided. Let's just be honest. I know that they're bad people sometimes. Some of the Saiyans do things that are a little questionable. Well, I get that. However, that doesn't mean that they deserve to be erased from existence. But Frieza doesn't care, bro. And that's exactly why Frieza deserves to be in the Hall of Fame of Menaces. Because Frieza decided that due to the fact that there may be a Super Saiyan, that there may be this ultimate Saiyan that could combat him and all of his, I guess I say people, but I don't even know if Frieza has a race. I mean, I guess he is a race of alien, but like there's him, King Cold, Cooler. Who the f else? What is Frieza? What is that? But that's besides the point. The fact remains that Frieza thought to himself that, hey, these Saiyans need to die. Excuse me. Uh, uh, uh. Monkey, it's time to die. You know that Frieza is a menace because just look at this scene right here, bro. Everybody is giving Goku, uh, Kakarot, words of encouragement during the Tournament of Power. And then you have Frieza who says this. Dance for us, monkey. In what world does someone just say dance monkey as encouragement and we're supposed to take this as not racism? I, 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 look, I'm sorry, bro. I understand. Maybe I shouldn't perpetuate the stereotype that black people are monkeys. Maybe I'm the racist one. No, no. I'm not, it's Frieza. Besides the fact that he has a immense hatred for Saiyans, he's gotten a, 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 a hard on for this one individual who we all know as Goku. We all love Goku, bro. The first Super Saiyan in the story. The one that put the beats by Dre on Frieza. We love Goku, we know Goku. However, the thing that we don't talk about often is the fact that Trunks put the goddamn works on Frieza. Please pay attention to th th this right here here okay trunk shows up from a different timeline right and this tight ass half jacket i'm not gonna lie trunks is fly right now like if trunks was in the 1980s with this fit he's pulling hella hoes i'm good let's uh, respectfully bro but the, the fact remains that he pulls up with a sword in hand and he bodies freezer hey you a crit hey he's up my this man injures Frieza to the point of no return. Body this man. Frieza was already in tarnished, already in a bunch of different parts, put together by machines after what Goku did to him. And then here is Trunks hitting this man Frieza with 48 different slashes like he's trying to be Zoro. Like this man is, it, it, Trunks is trying to be the world's strongest swordsman of his verse, clearly, because he put the fucking pain in on his dude Frieza and King Cold. Let this dude King Cold hold his sword and then blasted him into smithereens bro ridiculous bro but because of all of these things that goku and trunks did to frieza he has a super hard on for saiyans individually he hates saiyans bro he hates them hates them so much that he then decided that he was going to spin the block the entire block like it's tetris and come back in his gold form oh nah bro imagine coming back and the first thing you do is train for a little bit to get strong enough and frieza's potential was so high he didn't even train that long to get 
this gold form and then come back and try to immediately murder Goku and Vegeta again. That's the first thing you try to do when you spin the block. This man is a true slider. We should have got him to slide for King Von, bro. Not Lil Dirk. I'm just saying. <laughs> Obviously, he lost, but he did explode. I said explode. He did and blow up Earth, bro. And it's not his fault that there's plot convenience, bro. That anytime anything happens in, in, in Dragon Ball, there's some sort of reset button. Obviously, you know, the Earth didn't end up getting destroyed, but he did do it. And this Nick is a menace. I think the worst thing out of all of this, though, by far, is the fact that this man, Frieza, has done all of these terrible, terrible things, these horrible, horrible things to people. And he still acts as if the things that he does is fine. He has no accountability. This man, Frieza, does not think that he's in the wrong. He just does things. He likes to do bad things. This man, Frieza, is Lamilton of Dragon Ball Z, bro. What kind of bad things do you do? I don't listen to my grandmother, and I hurt people, and I smoke with cigarettes. This dude is terrible what is wrong with this dude somebody please get him therapy some help stop it get some help <laughs> like seriously though man this man freezes out of pocket and all of that is coupled with the fact that this man then spins the block yet again bro like a rubik's cube on the victims of dragon ball z goku and vegeta you're talking like td jakes again nigga get the off the stage all right my, my, my fault bro my fault bro but this dude frieza spins the block yet again bro as black frieza this time bro come on bro you came back as a nick you came back with blackface yo imagine you being racist to, to, to saiyans calling them monkeys bro using words that's a stereotype for black people and then you spin the block as a black person yourself that was not something that 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 that, that, that i thought would ever happen bro that this this is some bullshit bro you pulled up with the black face and everybody let it slide everybody in my comment section when i did the nigga freezing video was just like oh well we just gotta let him have it he's got the n-word pass now he is black who's gonna stop him not me bro he's got it i'm not I'm gonna keep it all the way at band. But you know who doesn't have it? This next guy. Although he's very powerful and he probably killed me too. That's besides the point. And that's not what we're here to talk about. What we are here to talk about is this guy from JoJo's part one, two, three, four, five, all the JoJo's. This motherfucker is in almost all the parts. Dio, bro. Dio is the one of the biggest menaces in all of anime. He is definitely going in the Hall of Fame of menaces, bro. He is a Hall of Famer, bro. This man is putting up triple doubles every game in menacing. When we first meet this guy, he pulls up and immediately immediately has an issue with jojo's i can't remember jonathan that's his name the first one is jonathan with the jonathan's dog immediately bro please someone call peter i don't understand why rocky has issues with animals but he pulled up and this man dio had an issue with his dog off the early bro that is fido's spot why do you have a problem with them bro dio are you secretly a chinese food restaurant all right my fault that was crazy but this man dio has the problem with this dog you know what he does he doesn't let it go he doesn't like he doesn't take the dog super super far away and leave it somewhere random no he doesn't do any of that what he does do is he puts the dog in a fucking box and he bakes it alive bro now you know again like i said before the chinese food restaurant joke was a little far but i mean as you can see he did cook the dog i'm just saying i'm just saying that's got to be racist there's no way I'm gonna just keep it real. There's no way that is like of our culture. Why did you steam this dude's dog to death? Bro, he murders this dog, bro, but not in a humane way. No, he doesn't euthanize the dog. No, he puts the dog in a fucking box full of flames, bro. Puts him through a rotisserie. Makes him one of those rotisserie chickens that be in Costco, bro. He kills Jonathan's dog. And I was sitting there at this point like, okay, he probably isn't gonna do anything worse than this. And I was wrong, bro. He has tried his entire time in his series to eradicate the entire Joe Star bloodline. This man, Jonathan, was not trying to go through this, bro. Not only did Dio murder his own father, he then poisoned Jonathan's dad. And we find out the same way that Jonathan's dad gets poisoned is how he murdered his own father. Dio is insane. That man needs to be in a padded room, bro, where every side is, hey, Mrs. Puff, it's me, SpongeBob. He needs to be in one of those rooms because what the f is that you killed your own dad and then you show up to this guy that opens you know his heart and opens his, his home to you it gives you everything that you ever could have asked for and needed and wanted and instead of loving him and loving his son you decide to poison him murder the son's dog you kissed his son's girlfriend in the mouth without consent dio what is wrong with you bro you also dress like you were born in the uk or you're a pilgrim but that that's besides the point i'm gonna let you 
fit go? The fact still remains that you have through time and any way you can try to stay alive to eradicate the JoJo's bloodline. And for that, you will forever be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Please, Dio, come and get your fucking award, you piece of shit. Speaking of pieces of shit, our next Hall of Fame inductee is you, Jiro Hanama. Bro, you, Jiro Hanama, is by far one of the, if not the biggest menace that I have ever seen in all of anime, bro. Let me explain to you why, bro. Because this man not only has taken the term tough love to the extreme by uh, pretty much hating his son so much. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't use the word hate because in his own twisted mind, he loves Baki, right? It's just he wants Baki to be strong enough to, to combat him, to, to be him, to best him. And because of this, he gives him this tough love, this twisted, demented version of tough love where it's really just physical abuse and verbal abuse, bro. That's that's the only way that, that I can explain it. Now, this culminates with his mom trying to stick up for Baki, right? His mom jumps into the fray of things, bro. And she's like, no, get off of my son, you big burly. Sexy, hairy. All right, my fault. that was pause. That was crazy, hey, yo. She jumps into the way of this man, Yujiro. And what does Yujiro do? Does he, okay, you're right. I shouldn't be attacking my son. I shouldn't be doing these terrible things to him. No, he grabs her and gives her an Andre the Giant bear hug. Bro breaking her spine and murdering Baki's mother in front of him. Since I've seen him do this deplorable act, I knew that he wasn't shit. It doesn't help that before he kills her, we get an entire flashback where we see how they met, bro. This man is on this like a uh, uh, fancy situation. I don't know if they're, uh, they might be on a cruise ship or they might be in just some big mansion. I don't know where they're at. They're at a party, right? Now there's people sparring in the ring or whatever. This man, you Jiro jumps in and fights the winner. He ends up punishing their ass and Baki's mom gets turned on by it. Now she's with this slick haired dude that looks like Steven Seagal a little bit. I'm just saying. And we see the, the true demented vibe that, that she has, right? She loves danger, violence, things like that. That's what turns Baki's mom on, right? We see that with her. Now, the, the problem I have with this is, bitch, you're crazy. How are you going to raise a son that is also the son of the guy that not only turns you on in front of your man at the time, but then goes in a room and kills that and then makes love with you by his dead body. That's how y'all are going to conceive Baki. Baki was conceived through fucking bloodlust. That's crazy. Now, you know, obviously she wasn't the best mom. She's trying to raise up Baki to pretty much please Yujiro and Yujiro is, is enabling all of this, which is why he's a fucking menace. He then murders that woman in front of Baki. Well, he has another son in the story, right? Jack Conma. You know how Jack Conma got here? He raped Jack Conma's mom, bro. Rapes her, bro. Rapes his mom. Makes Jack Conma. What the is wrong with this guy, bro? Not only that, he then neglects his other son, Jack, neglects him, sees him in a in parking garage after he loses the Baki and then beats him the f up because, oh, how dare you challenge me, the great Yujiro Hanuma, after you've lost the Baki. You've taken all of these steroids and still can't win. You are a has-been athlete. You literally came up being built like Benson from fucking regular show, bro. You have a uh, you skinny body bitch, big head, little body bitch, and, and you take a bunch of steroid PDs and shit, get stronger for no reason to bite people like Mike Tyson and then lose to Baki anyway? What the fuck is the point of that? He does all of this to, to you know, I guess to get the chance to fight his dad, Ujiro, right? It's always about pleasing Ujiro, which is so weird to me, but it is what it is. That's just how it is, bro. But he he beats Jack up, tells him he's a disgrace. But Jack, Hanuma's mom, is not the only person he's raped in the story. He also raped this teenage boy and then told him that he's the only man in the world. So everyone else around him are women. So what he's doing is okay, which is implying that it's okay to rape people as long as they're women, which is crazy. My that is like, what are we talking about? And for all of these atrocities, bro, for the neglect, for the the, the abuse, for the killing of Baki's mom, the raping of Jack Hanma's mom, the, the just overall rape, and just being a terrible walking disease to America, Yujiro Hanma, you will forever be inducted in the Menace Hall 
of fame. This next menace is a different breed, okay? This guy is a true menace because he does the things he does because he's an asshole, bro. He's just a dickhead of a person. That is OG Broly. Please come get your fucking award, bro. OG Broly doesn't like Goku because Goku cried as a baby. Imagine growing up being a baby and that's what babies do. They cry and you're mad at somebody so much because this boy's sitting in a tube next to you. Y'all are laying in this alien cum incubator, bro. And this dude is crying and crying and crying and you hear him. But you and your dad escape this situation. You're a legendary Super Saiyan. You're very powerful. You save you and your father, the guy that ends up betraying you, and then you crush him in his ship. You literally crush him like we used to do with, with soda cans to put in our fucking bike pegs, bro. You crush this man into nothing. That was crazy, by the way. Like you whined this, like you turned a grape into wine. All right, my bad. But the, you hate this man, Goku, so much that he cried. That if you hear his name, Kakarot, you get angry. You get angry at his name. Not only that, you want to fight him on site every time not only that you then punished the whole camp all the z fighters got whooped by you bro you hit with double clotheslines knocked them into walls threw goku into a wall so hard you made an imprint of his body you had vegeta literally having to get a pep talk from piccolo because he was being a big baby back bitch this man vegeta literally wouldn't even move to fight you look at this dude standing here he's stammering right now he doesn't even know what to do bro vegeta are you good my guy oh no i'm not good my hairline is up and this Broly is scary. This dude Piccolo had to come talk to you and call you a soft bitch just to get you to move. And then when you finally get the moving around, you get punished anyway. You wasted all of that time just to get dog walked. You suck. But I love you, Vegeta. You know, I, I got a lot of love for you, but I can't believe that he had you sitting there like a bitch. This man Broly is a true menace, bro. He literally dog walks all the Z fighters, Goku and his crew in every movie, even a dumbass bio Broly movie that we don't talk about. The fact that they've changed his character speaks a lot for the writing about OG Broly because obviously they wanted more nuance and more writing to his character instead of just being a big ass menace that hates everything that has to do with Goku and for all of these atrocities OG Broly you will forever be inducted in the menace hall of fame last but not least somebody that's such a menace they have crossed over the dimension and they are not even an anime character yet they need to be in this video omni man please take center stage you are terrible just some of the crazy things <sighs> jesus just some of the crazy things that omni man has done he killed the fake justice league lied to his family used his wife deborah as a way to make a super powered baby to help him take over the earth to help him infiltrate earth he then beat up his son multiple times oh you forgot about the chicago incident in chicago the train scene well, we're not gonna skip over that bro the think mark think moment you're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die think mark calling your wife deborah a pet to your son's face your mother and i have a relationship that is all about a master slave dynamic hell no till the no 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 bro this man omni man is a different breed bro he came into the show being a menace by beating up justice league from wish bro we got red rush sound like a cold red soda we got a a a, a, a green screen woman who is really a green ghost <laughs> motherfucker like something you put an island over in a youtube video bro then we got fake wonder woman i forgot her name uh this bitch got a big ass mace what is her name i don't even know we got dark wing duck black man aka ghetto batman bro motherfucker has a black and mild in his utility belt then we got uh 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 uh, uh what's his name immortal because he can't die but this motherfucker is he's trapped He's just Omni Man, but worse. Oh, he's weaker than fucking Mark. And his first like stage, he sucks, bro. And then we got uh 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 I fake Aquaman. Mother looks like a bass pro fishing. Stop, please. Don't hit me with water. What is this? I don't even know what this guy is. Why is his body built like this? He has no neck. That's crazy. We got a, a fake Martian Manhunter. What is his name? Martian Man? I don't know what the 
his name is, bro. Fake alien ass dude. He punishes his whole team. Puts the beats on him, all of them, bro. Because he thinks that they're going to be a threat to him and Mark's plan. As soon as Mark gets his powers, he kills them all, bro. The entire time, he's lying to his family. He's telling them, you know, that he came from, you know, somewhere. And he's here to help Earth and things. But he's really here to enslave Earth's people for the Viltrumite Empire. Crazy, right? So after lying to his family he, and using Deborah to make a superpower, baby, he's slowly infiltrating Earth. And then he beats his son up, like I said. He trains with Mark. The first time they train, he punches this dead in his clavicle, bro. He has this man's sternum throbbing. Bro was on the ground. Uh -huh. I know, son. I know it hurts. Man, not blowing it. That's life. That's how he's treating his son, bro. The Chicago incident, bro. This man is worse than King Von. He is the Slim Reaper in Chicago, bro. He made Old Block into what it is. Old Block right here. I should call this shit No Block. It's 10 o'clock. What the fuck again is that? Outside. It's only 10 p.m. What the fuck that, blood? That's what the O and Omni man stand for. It stands for O Black. That is from 63rd. He literally takes his son, mushes his face through an entire train, and makes him witness millions and millions of humans getting squished to their death in this fucking public transportation vehicle, bro. He murders all of these people, has Chicago in shambles, blowing up buildings, all types of shit, bro. Just to tell his son to think, just to call his wife. She was just a pet to me to mark's face then he flies off after having this existential ass moment because his son said something sad to him and you're probably thinking oh he went to repent for his sins and he almost did he almost went into a black hole but you know what he really did he went to a fucking place called thraxis i believe thraxis thraxians yeah thraxis i believe is what the plan is called and there's these fucking alien ass insect people that age very quickly and you know he, he helps them out so they don't fall into this dark hole they make him like their mom arc or whatever the f and he gets their queen yeah, pregnant little, little, bro little, he starts little, an entirely new family with these weird ass aliens that look like a genesect from pokemon bro he literally had sex with a bunch of caterpies uh, not a bunch just one and made a half alien hybrid son who is the brother of mark bro and then he brings mark here oh mark i need your help mark i need your help mark even though you know i made this fucking weird ass brother for you that you're gonna end up inevitably hating it's fine don't worry about it because it, 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 this is just life. That's life. That's life. That's life. Game this alien pipe. And that, 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 that is why, Omni Man, you will forever be inducted into the Menace Hall of Fame. Bro, all of these people belong in the Menace Hall of Fame. And if you think that I'm missing someone important, make sure you comment down below and tell me who you think needs to be there. And if this video gets at least 5,000 likes, we will do part two and induct four or five or six or 20 more people into the hall of fame of menaces in anime thank you for watching